Hello, Internet, and welcome back to Skyward Sword Blind. In the last episode, um, we obtained the slingshot. So, now, I'm gonna see if I can hit this bell. Yeah! There we go. What the? How do, I can't, I can't get it from here, from down here. No! What? Let me get it. Come on. And... Hooya! I missed, seriously. I have terrible aim. I better stay there. Come on. Hia! What? Really, Link? Okay. Okay, that's how you do it. Okay, there's a winch on it. Well, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> okay, where does this ladder go? Okay, it's... <laughs> it looks exactly like his ship used to. Well, not used to, but didn't Wind Waker. And the exact same music, too. There's the son of a gun right now. Oh, oh you've come all this way. It's so rare to have a customer here. Beetle's airship has everything you could ever want. Please take a look around. If you actually buy something, that would be even better. Okay, let's see what kind of stuff he's got here. Ooh, that looks interesting. A life metal. It shows a bunch of mysterious and mystical effects on whoever carries it. What kind of effects? Don't ask me. I don't actually know. You should find out for yourself. Pretty sure it's a real bargain at 800 rupees. Uh, I'm gonna go with no. Okay, wouldn't you get tired after a while? What is this thing? Increase the number of items you can carry in your adventure pouch by one. It's the most useful thing imaginable for an adventure. 300 rupees. Uh, no. Jeez, no wonder anyone no no one ever buys anything. Your prices are ridiculous, dude. Extra wallet. Amazingly useful. Carry extra 300 rupees. Oh, nice. Hmm. Leave no rupee behind. 100 rupees. I think I'm actually going to buy that. -na 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 -na. Or, you know, whatever. Sweet, so I should be able to carry 500 rupees now, right? Thank you! Thank you! And the bug net. What do the bugs do in this game? For catching bugs, insects too. How many bugs here? You'll be able to catch tons when there, tons with this when there are some. <laughs> Fifty rupees of net profit, of course. Right. Let's get it anyway. Catch bugs and other small things when you're hunting bugs. Remember to approach quietly and strike quickly. All righty. Thank you. Thank you. Give <laughs> me the strength to keep pedaling. What if he stops pedaling? Does like the entire thing just plummet from the sky? Cause you know, that'd be pretty hilarious. Anyway, we Alrighty. So now, um I guess I'll meet you guys back at where I was, cause apparently I'm gonna have to run all the way there again. Although maybe not, I don't know. If I do, then I'll cut ahead. If not, then I'll just keep on going. So... Yeah. I think I finally got this flying thing under control. <laughs> After that incredible failure before. Whee! And we like how he jumps automatically. <laughs> Just assumes I want to go there. Oh, it's possible to send to a specific bird statue on the surface after you've already visited, and I've memorized its location. Oh, do this point to the area you want to descend to with the pointer and press A to confirm your destination. Alrighty, so I can go up here to where I was. 
I will descend to this area. Alright. Thank God they let you do that. Whee! Alright, so right where I was. Very nice. Oh, hey, you're back. And now you're not. Hey, let me slice you. There we go. Jelly blob. <laughs> and that's two jelly blobs. Oh, while I'm here... Okay, the net works just like your sword. Where's that beetle that was here a second that was here earlier? I wanna catch it. Aha. Where'd he go? I'm here. What the Where'd it go? Man I wanted to catch a bug. Nah. <laughs> oh well. Enough of that. Whoop. Oh boy. Yeah. There we go. What was over here that it was squawking at me? Oh well. I should probably keep the slingshot equipped. Just in case I need it. Whoa! Whoa, snap. Ah, so these guys can open in both can open in both directions. Boom! Slice! Screw y'all! Hey, it's Gorko. How do you doing, buddy? Oh. Hold up, bud. I need to ask you a favor. Ah, I was just gonna move the thing down. Jeez. Oh. I tell you, your timing could not have been better. Look here. I stumbled on one of these things just now. It looks like something I've seen in those ancient texts. Okay. It's a block. What'd they do? If I remember right, yep, this is one of the things the goddess was said to have left behind for the hero of legend. Pretty amazing, right? I even thought up the name for these things. I've been calling them goddess cubes. Makes sense, right? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Those ancient texts say some real interesting stuff about these things. How'd it go again? Let me see. Uh, couldn't have been that interesting if you can't remember it. Summon forth the light from a heavenly blade, and may that sword's master receive aid. So there you have it. So you got yourself a sword there. What is it we try and crack the mystery of that cube together? Sure, why not, buddy? Hey, thanks a billion, bud. <laughs> this cube is made of some sort of metal I've never seen. I've wailed on it, but nothing happens. Mm. You know, bud, I would say the key to cracking this egg is that one line. You know, the light from a heavenly blade? I wonder what that could mean. But first, I'm gonna... Whoa. Oh, come on. I just want to move that thing down. Jeez, I know exactly what it means. Hold it up. Come on. Do it. Here we go. Whoosh! There we go. Okay, it disappears. Into a shiny? Whoa, did you see that? The cube just shot up into the sky! I think it reacted to that whirly beam thing you shot out of your sword. Where do you think the cube shot off to, anyhow? This mystery just got a whole lot more, uh, mysterious. These texts say there are cubes like that one and all over this land. Tell you what, you blast as many of those cubes as you can find. If you find out more about them along the way, you come see me. Um, okay. I'll go do that. So I assume that did something in Skyloft? I don't know. I might have to go check that out sometime later. Anyway, boom. Another shortcut, and another cube over there, too. Uh, so I guess we'll just shoot, do, do a, another little whirly thingy at this too. And there we go. Shiny! For some reason that reminds me of Paper Mario. I don't know why. Like the first one for the 64. Makes me think of Shooting Star Summit. Well, Star Haven, I mean. Oh, what do you want now? We detected Zelda's aura emanating from within the structure. Cool beans. So I'm actually at the dungeon now? However, I've also detected the presence of numerous monsters. Are you sure you want to proceed? Durr. When have monsters ever stopped length before? Like, ever. You'd be very unwise to display overconfidence here. Within the walls of this place, no one will come to your aid. Right, because everyone else has been such a big help out here. Hmm. 
If you feel unprepared to face the dangers ahead, consider returning to the sky to properly equip yourself. It would be wise to carry a shield to protect yourself, as well as a stock of potions to restore lost hearts. Now she continue to search for Zelda. I already have both of those things, so I'm good. But I am going to save here, simply for the sake of having the statue active in case I need it. Hmm. Anything in these bushes? Nope, nothing. So... Whoop, they dropped something. Some extra seeds, nothing big. Alright. And with that, I believe we are gonna enter the first dungeon. Oh. Um. Nya. 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 Fine. Be that way. Oh. Hey, Blue Rupee, come here. <laughs> Ain't that something? Okay, apparently those two are the only ones that do something. But that's that's pretty funny. Okay, so what do I do now? Ah, dang it! Wow, it's the first time I've actually been snuck up on by Dekubaba. Okay, maybe not, but you get my point. Oh, it's a rock! He who descended from above, look to the star that the bird rising heavenward gazes upon. And name your shot there. Um. So shoot at the sun, basically. Okay. Um. Says it gazes upon. Um, okay, maybe I'm an idiot, but I'm a little confused right now. The only thing I can aim in that direction is the slingshot, and there's no way I can really get any sort of range on this thing. All oh, right, there's cliffs over. Here. Oh wait, this is where I came from, isn't it? Um. Hmm. Okay, I need to recenter. Um. Okay, I must have misread that because I'm confused again. Come on. Let's back over. Look to the star that the bird rising heavenward gazes upon and aim your shot there. Bird rising heavenward gazes upon. So logically that would be this here. Because that's the only bird there is. And the one it's gazing upon would either be the sun or whatever's right in front of it, but there's nothing over here except for death, which I'm very aware of from earlier. Oh boy. That's certainly not a bird. And do I just stare at it a little bit? You can only shoot your Skyward Strikes straight forward. Oh, 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 there you are. There you are. I see you. Ah. I need to stop taking things so literally. Oh. That was pretty. 
There we go. Okay. Ooh. Fancy. And here we are, guys. This looks like it's the first dungeon. Oh, yeah. Skyview Temple. Okay, so it's not the Forest Temple, but close enough. It actually looks a lot like the Earth Temple from Wind Waker. I have bad news. The auras of many creatures reverberate throughout this temple. And as a result, I can't isolate Zelda's aura. You will not be able to track her here. Why would you say that so slow? I mean, it's not like tracking her has really given me that much help so far. So far, all I have found were three little penguin creatures, a massively obese penguin creature, and a Goron. None of those are Zelda. Given the situation, I suggest you look around to see where you should move next. Well, what else was I gonna do? Ugh. Anyway, I will see you guys next time, and we will explore Skyview Temple a little more. I will see you then.